got a bad bitch, we got a bad bitch, and then we got I will beat the fuck out of you. New art style of Lira. Can I say it just once? Only if you wish to suffer. Get over here! In the name of gain and profit for one's nation and village. Shinobi have hated and hurt each other for many years, from the first to the third great ninja wars and the conflicts in between. All of that hatred cried out for power, thus I- Idiota! Me dijiste que íbamos a hacer cosas de adultos y me llevaste a pagar tus impuestos! Por antojar si eres bueno. When I first met you, I thought you were weird and annoying. And? And you are.
Kaya mo makipagpalit kay Suko na? Suko na? Yung sumpa na kinain mo. Ah, uh, um, sa tingin ko, kaya ko. Sige, 10 seconds. Pagkatapos nun, bumalik ka na sa katawan mo. Pero... Ayos lang. Ako ang pinakamalakas na sorcerer. Megumi, huh? hawakan mo to. Oh, oh. Oh, ano to? Kiko po mula sa Kiko siyan. Sobrang sarap na specialty ng Sendai. May re-recommend ko ang Zunda at Cream Flavor. Namasyal talaga siya at bumili pa ng souvenir. Halos mamatay na kami rito. Hindi yan souvenir. Kakainin ko dapat yan pa uwi habang nasa bulot. Sa likod mo! Hindi tulad ng ibang souvenir ang Kiko po. Paano kita malilimutan? Ikaw ang pumuntay sa isa sa mga kasamahan ko. Nahirapan din ako doon. Tatang, ingat kayo. Kaya niya nakawin ang ability ng kalaban niya. Ay, mahirapan ako nitong dalawang kalaban ko. Hindi ako nahihiwan ng basta-bastang patalim. Malamang espesyal yung ginamit niyang kutsilyo. Base sa itsura ng disenyo, mukhang mid-era bench knife. At sa korte, malamang may lason. Ayos ka lang. Walang problema. Walang problema ba ka mo? Kahit one-tenth lang na isang miligram yan, sapat na para paralisahin ang isang baliena. Pero habang nilalabanan mo kaming dalawa, mahihirapan kang tuparin ng mga kondisyon na kinakailangan. Sa makatwid, hindi mo mananako ang mga abilidad namin habang nakikipaglaban, kaya kailangan mong pigilan ang paggalaw namin. At doon na pumapasok ang paggamit mo ng patalim na may lason. Tama ka uli. Wala nang ibang paraan. Story time of the trio that killed their victims and fed them to their neighbors. Two women and one man who were in a love triangle would lure young women to their house by offering them work as a nanny. A lot of these women who were in search for work trying to get the little money would accept the offer and go to the trio's home. They expected there to be a child whom they would get introduced to to take care of. But baby, were they wrong? When they were in the trio's home, a man would attack them and kill them with a hammer and then cut them up into pieces. After they were done with the murders, one of the women would use the remains of the human flesh and make traditional stuffed meat pastries. Then they would go out on the street corners and sell those meat pastries to people in their community. Motherfuckers was eating their own friends. They didn't feed all of their victims to their neighbors. Sometimes they would eat their victims themselves for lunch or dinner. They claimed human meat was no different than beef. It tasted the same and had the same consistency. So it's like, why should I spend my money on beef if I could just kill somebody and eat them? One of the victims was a 17-year-old mother to an 18-month-old baby. They killed and butchered the mother right in front of the 18-month-old baby. And the next day, they fed the baby pieces of her mother for lunch in a pastry. That way, the baby would never know she was eating her own mother. What they did next to the baby was...
camino que recorra tu pasado Más solo que te quise se batallas por ganar El tiempo quise que se quedará a tu lado Y quien dará la vista para nunca regresar Toda persona tiene su forma de amar Pero todas son amor y solo queda soñar Lo que te hacía por llenar este lugar Con el canto de una flor y la música del mar Cuando nada fue